It's the damn big mural on Collie's big damn wall. Spanning 8,000 square metres, it's a feat of epic proportion. Oh, it's fantastic, quite overwhelming when you first sort of see it. The detail is so good, it's just amazing. The artist stretched himself to create a masterpiece along the Wellington Dam wall. Yeah, this, this has been the most challenging thing I've ever done, definitely. Inspired by the community of Collie and their photographs of playing in the waterways downstream. These photographs that I've painted provide clues to, to other stories in the area, which, is, um, you know, which, I, which I want um, those people to, to, to be able to um, explain those stories to, to everyone. Liam and Ashlyn Kane are among those looking forward to sharing their stories. Everyone's experiences are all different, but we can all kind of relate in the photos as it's seen, like people down there. As the town of Collie begins a transition away from its economic base as a coal mining hub, over $1 million is being invested on a mural trail to kickstart its new look. The, the main thing about the mural trail is that it changes the way we see ourselves. It adds colour and vibrancy where um, people might have had a specific view of what Collie was previously and, and what we thought about ourselves. Now this invites people to open their minds and think about Collie just a little bit differently. To bring his vision to life, Guido toiled away, tethered to a rope, allowing ease of movement across the wall, drawing on his experience painting in rural areas across the world. He says Collie's emerging reinvention mirrors that of regional towns in the US Midwest, with art bridging the change. Yeah, I think people are starting to realise the value in this, in this type of art. I think it all really exploded once this work was taken regionally because I find that this was, this was an urban movement. I think that when bringing it to a regional space, it gets a whole new, it's got a whole new meaning and it does um, shape a town's identity. And with his biggest project behind him, this artist is now looking for a new industrial canvas. Uh, that these structures didn't have a creative uh, element in their design when they were built. Um, and now that they are ageing, to come along and think of a creative use for them, um, especially when they're maybe derelict or out of use, um, is, what, is what interests me about this, this process. So. Cementing everlasting memories for generations to come. Anthony Pansier, ABC News, Collie.